friends, Dr. Tom Ryan, and today I'd like to do a respiratory exam on you. Is that okay? That's fine. What's your name? Dara. Nice to meet you, Dara. Good to meet you. Now I'm just going to reposition your bed, first of all. Okay. And would you be able to take off your t-shirt? No problem. And could you sit back against the bed? For a general inspection, always go to the end of the bed and take a step back from the patient. The following general observations can be made about any patient. Comment on whether the patient looks well or unwell. Are they awake and alert or drowsy? Comment on the patient's colour. Comment on their nutritional and hydration status. Comment on whether the patient is overweight, cachectic, fluid overloaded or dehydrated. Now focus on the patient's respiration. Is the patient breathing comfortably or are they dyspneic? Measure the respiratory rate. Comment on the use of accessory muscles of respiration. Comment on any abnormal breathing sounds such as wheeze, strider, hoarseness or perstilate breathing. Does the patient have a cough and if so, is it productive? Note the presence and contents of a sputum cup. Look for equipment or devices that are attached to or surrounding the patient. Comment on any respiratory specific medications around the patient and their delivery devices, particularly a spacer or a nebulizer. Note if the patient has an IV line and if receiving any medications or feed intravenously, check the bag and comment on what they are receiving. Is the patient on oxygen? If so, how is it being delivered and at what flow rate? Look for a chest drain and water seal. Is there a urinary catheter? Are there any physiotherapy devices around the patient to help with the cleaning of secretions? Comment on any visible wounds, scars or deformities of the chest wall. Look for any stigmata of a pancos tumour, such as dorsal guttering of the hand or a Horner syndrome. Note the location of the patient. For example, a patient may be on a general ward in a high dependency unit or a coronary care unit. Note any signs around the bed. You just ignore me there. Measure the patient's respiratory rate for at least 15 seconds. 